There, they go right there next to that rock. Hey, got sheep. Told you he was there. I seen him. Holy smokes! What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt, Matt and the Yak, and I am back to share a really quick on the water highlight with you guys. Now, I was actually with one of my fellow fishing coaches, Richard Thomas, and he and I hit the road to go fishing with another member. This is something we often do inside our insider community. One of the coaches will actually catch up with the insider member in their area and will actually go out and make a fishing trip with them and turn it into one of our insider reports, just like you'll see in this video. Video. Now, for this trip, Richard and I made a trip to the jetties with one of the members, and we were actually able to go have some really great success with some sheep's head. Now, I want to be able to share this trip with you guys so that you can see the success that we were able to have. Now, keep in mind, our members not only get amazing discounts on all of their fishing tackle, but they also get exclusive access to our smart fishing spots. And we often do amazing things for our members with gatherings, meetups, and get togethers. And we also like to hit the water with them every chance we get. So let's go ahead and jump on the water right now and check out this action for the sheep's head. Golly, suckers got me and I didn't even know it. As you're hearing us saying, we are getting bites pretty close to those rocks, which is where those fish are holding. Now we are going through a lot of fiddler crabs and I'm having some trouble feeling the bites. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in a little bit, but just know that these bites were coming very fast, very tight to the structure. So, so this time I always go in that back leg, come back up towards the top with it and not bring it out. Then it kind of makes it a little more weedless. Because when they eat them, they will come and get over the top of them and crush the top of their shell and suck yeah. their guts out. You kind of go through this back leg. I go from the back leg kind of this way. Okay, kind of more yeah. that way. So the point's kind of there in the, in the center. Because when they come in and they crush it, oh, then... Because I've had them because where they would just crush that front face and you can see a perfect bite mark just oh, yeah. on the hook. All right, Salt Strong family. So I wanna show you how I'm rigging these up real quick. As you can see, I am going in the side of the fiddler crab there where the legs are. And then I'm bringing the hook up towards the top of the body so that the point can be facing right there at the top of the shell where that sheep head is gonna bite right into that crab. So I'm set up for success. Yeah, I've been coming behind just like that and leave that point right in there. So mm -hmm. when they come in and bite, they're getting yeah, not for Georgia, but for Florida. He All right, Florida. throwing fiddler crabs. Ryan caught a redfish right here at the jetty. Nice fish, buddy. Beautiful fish. Way to go, man. All right. Okay, let's go, Ryan. Nice. Let's go. Targeted species right there. All right, buddy. Any, <laughs> any spot on the boat. <laughs> All right, Ryan caught this nice sheep head right here are using that fiddler crab. Just throwing up against the jetty real easy. All right, brother. Another one for Ryan, you guys. Crushing them. Home field advantage over here. All right. Okay. All right. Better fish. Okay, buddy. Yeah, it looks like a sheep. Enough. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go, buddy. Nice, man. Way to go, Ryan. Dang it. Sometimes falling off a rock is a sheep head bite. Yeah. Sometimes falling off a rock is falling off a rock. Other times, it's one of their friends. Oh, there we go. I, I hit him on the head. <laughs> nice, buddy. That's a nice one, too. Looked like a nice one where he was flashing. Uh, he might keep. Hit him on the head. Yeah, literally. See if he's got a buddy in there. Now you're finally getting to where you can see some barnacles on these rocks. Yeah, right. Dang it. That was the sheep's head right there. I know that. And that was like almost right in front yeah. of us. Oh, got him. Okay, buddy. Ryan is right. whooping him. No, uh, you were taking us to school today. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm not faulting a man for putting fish in the boat, especially when I can't. Okay, buddy. Let's go. Way to go, Rich. Yeah, buddy. All right. All right, 
right guys, here we go. We've got a little one finally here on the board, right there in the side of the mouth. We're on a thick. We're on a thick, boys. <laughs> Golly, man. That's sheep's head, though. Yes, sir. I wonder if the tip of this rod's too heavy. I wonder if the tip of this rod's too heavy. I wonder if the tip of this rod's too heavy. Here's one. Right there. Saw it. All right, Rich got one in the boat. Now it's just me that needs to put something in. Trout, redfish. All right, Ryan got another redfish right here on the rocks. Let's go, Rich. Okay, give him that headache though. Okay, Ryan's on. Way to go, everybody. I'm about tired of y'all whooping me like this, so I wonder if this rod's too heavy, like the tip. Can you use this one? The rod I'm using right here is a medium heavy, and it's too heavy for me to feel the bites from the sheep head until it's too late. So I finally switched to the rod he offers, and when I do, it immediately makes a difference. I got another rod, exactly. Ah, that was one. I pulled him. Ah, sucker. I got a little overzealous when I felt him kick back. Oh, Luke's good for it, dude. Luke will follow you up quick. 100%. Yeah, Luke will say, ah, he missed you, and then throw right on top of you. <laughs> it's so funny. I got That's boxes. him. That's Plenty. him. Plenty. Plenty. Yeah. That's a little bit Ouch. better than the bunny. Woo. Okay, like Rich. Well, Rich might got a keeper there. Keep him up, Bubba. Okay, Rich. You need a net? <laughs> That's the biggest one of the day. That's it. That's him. That's the one. That's a sheep. That's a sheep. Yeah. Yep. See there's a third one there on that top oh, man. See if I can get this guy in without losing him. All right, Let's everybody see. on board. Right. Richard and I got a double up. You want to get up here, Richard? All right. Doing it out here at the jetties. Ryan's been whooping me and Richard, but we finally got us some keepers on board after Ryan has almost caught his limit. So we're gonna get these in the ice box and uh, we'll have some good dinner tonight. Having a lot of fun, get some more. All right. Man, I can breathe now, y'all. Feel like I could eat now because I've been fighting a rumbling stomach thinking, man, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, but I couldn't, you know, you can't eat. Like Joe's rule is you can't crack a beer until you caught a fish. Yep. I can't eat until Cigar I- Cigar menace count as fish, right? Absolutely. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, that's a good sound. That's, I, a good that's sound. a good sound. Well, I did hit that one on the head. Yeah, you did. You yeah. nailed him. And a red on the head. Yep, there's one right there. Look at there. Fishing around here? Yeah. yeah there's one. That is one. All right, Matt. That was the one I saw. Yeah, I told you I saw one there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, he went back down, boys. He ain't ready. He wasn't ready. Oh, like to take the rod too. Little drag snatcher. I think I think that rod was a little too stiff, man. Like I just couldn't feel the you know. You gotta have that real soft yeah. tip. All right. Sometimes equipment. Yeah, oh that's wow. half the battle, absolutely, man. All right, guys. Another sweet sheep head right here. Picking them off. Right. Richard Ryan and I just getting it done. The legal keeper size for sheep head is 12 inches, so we wanted to make sure that all the fish we kept were in fact legal. 13 and a half, he'll keep. It's classic. Ah, sap sucker got me. That's what you don't want when you're messing with fiddlers, y'all. There he is. Yes, sir. That's him. Nice one. <laughs> got another one, guys. Right. Pretty one. Right in between those two rocks, remember you just threw. Got us another one, guys. Chunking these fiddlers. Yeah, that <laughs> rod, this rod is on fire, y'all. Oh, well, he was close. Yeah. I let him go. <laughs> he gets to grow up for, for our next trip. Better be safe to let him go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like now that this tide's dropped out some, the bite's definitely gotten better. Right there. Bull Blenny. Want to get a double up picture real quick, Rich? Blinnies. Double up, you guys. Doubled up on Blennies. Richard and I, you Good. know, doing big things out here, guys. Good. If you want to know how to get on these, be sure to check us out at saltstrong.com. We're here for it. <laughs> hey, that might yeah. be a little bigger. Oh, I'm a, I'm a big boy Blenny. 
All right, Rich, now you put yours in there and pull the sheep head out that we got the blennies out. Appreciate y'all taking one for the team. Yeah, you, Ryan's been pulling the sheep so we could get the blennies up to this point. So, you know, I mean, I figure it's only fair, you know. Dude, this is a freaking blast. <laughs> blennies and all. Oh, it's fun. I mean, you, you come out and you're catching. Yeah. So I'll bring my, uh, like when my son was little, we would put fish bite strips on their hooks. So all we had to do is take the hook off and they right. just sit there and we're sitting here catching sheephead and they're wearing the blennies and sea bass, everything else out. But it like, it kept them occupied when they were right. like six and eight. There's one. Oh, so Got loud. Him, bro. Told you, I seen him now. Well, you're a sight fishing blenny. You man. know, if anybody can sight fish a blenny at the jetties, Salt Strong family, it's your guy right here, Matt Nigak, putting it on them out here. Ah, that was a sheep bite. That was a good sheep bite. That was yep. All right, Rich. Let's go, Bubba. All right. Here we go. Keep All right, here we go. Another nice one. There's one jumping right there. Tailing. <laughs> Got a tailing sheep's head right here, you guys. There they are, right there. There they are. That's him right there. Okay, Rich. Rich. Let's go, Bubba. Right. Got the world's sell largest blinny. Yeah, gotta sell that blinny. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Rich. Another little guy right there. Right off the edge of the rocks. Just throwing it up on those rocks, guys. Kind of letting it bounce back. And that's usually where they're hitting it. Pretty close to them. There they go, right there next to that rock. Just like that. Told you he was there. I seen him. Holy smokes! <laughs> Oh. Golly! It got me up off the side. Whoo! Shark. Yeah. Got him. Huge black tip, man. <laughs> we got that on camera, y'all. That was sick. That was sick, Bubba. Yes! That was better than the sheep. What are you talking about? I love the footage. It's all about the shot. Maybe we're going to slow that down. Oh, that's a shot. Oh, we're going to slow that one down good. That was, that was gnarly, bro. Yeah, about 0.3 seconds. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Thank you, Bubba. Man, that was crazy. <laughs> Woo! That was what? sick, dude. That was sick. I felt the pressure and then I saw it. I was fighting uh, <laughs> sheephead and then I was fighting bottom. Dang, that was crazy. All right, Salt Strong Nation, we got out here and we did it. Uh, me, Richard, and Ryan got out here, and Ryan absolutely put us on some sheephead. We had a phenomenal day, and we had a little bit of excitement with a shark uh, snatching one of the sheephead from us, and uh, that was pretty exciting. But we definitely got dinner, we got some tacos, it was a great time, and we'll go over all that in the post trip analysis. See you then. Fish bump. Boom. Now, as you guys heard me say, we do share the post-trip analysis with our insider members, and that's something where we go in depth in satellite imagery and show our members exactly where we caught all of our fish. So that's just another amazing perk of staying on the trends of where the fish are at in your area that us coaches like to do every week so that you can benefit and be more successful on the water. If you think exclusive discounts, access to the Smart Fishing Spots app, and the chance to fish with any of us fishing coaches is something you'd be interested in. Be sure to check us out at saltstrong.com and give this video a like and give us a follow so that you're sure to get more videos when they're uploaded. Be sure to leave those comments down in the comments section for me and we'll see you in the next video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish, not only with fishing tips and in-depth courses, but also our new Smart Fishing Spot app. That actually tells you exactly where the fish will be, as well as the best times of day to fish there, plus so much more. You'll also save tons of money with tackle discounts and make tons of new fishing friends in the Insider community. So thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you in the Insider community soon.